All I see is monochrome, your shadow dancing in the room. Clouded thoughts, they hide the light, colors fade. Sister, what's up? What's good? What's the tea? Mm, what do you want? You good? What's with the attitude? I like just don't get it. Like, did you have to like answer the phone? Isaac and I like are fighting now and he will not talk to me anymore. You did that for no reason. Well, it's not my fault you were hanging out with some randoms. But you're the one that made this whole trip about boys when you were like, running off all over Miami with Xavier, so it's like, you're the one that like made all of this happen. Are you serious? Is everything okay? Yeah, I just need to get out of here. Where are you going? Well, first of all, that was awkward as f but I'm gonna go on a run, so I'll see you later. This is so dumb. Guys, wake up. Oh my god. Good morning. Wake up. You guys? This better be good. Okay, guys. There's a talk. Okay. Shani went off to do her own thing, of course, and Victoria also like went on a run or something. What do you mean? I mean? What are you talking about? Everyone's just doing their own thing, so I think it's just best if like we do our own thing right now because I don't want to waste any time. Guys, it's spring break. We're never gonna get this chance ever again. I think we should go and do something like. So like, we could go to the zoo? No. Vivian, let's call the boys. Let's, let's start doing something. I'm down, Steve. I'm down. Well, I mean, I don't know. In my opinion, like, I just think it's a bad idea. I mean, like, we have to consider Isaac, and then, I don't know, we told your dad no boys. Okay, Isaac's, like, super mad at me right now, so it's like, can you get any more mad? And my dad's not here, so... I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. I think it'll be fine. Look, I'll get ready, and I'll give him a call. All right. Wanna go? Let's go get ready. It'll be fine. It'll be so much fun. I mean, sure. Come on. Let's go get ready. <sighs> All right. No, I just had to get out of there. Like, it was too stressful. Mm, I just had to go out, get inspired, see the city on my own, you know? Honestly, um, I just know that little fight that Iram and I had is like a ticking bomb waiting to explode and I just like needed to cool off because I just know like I would have popped off on her and I don't want to do that to her. Since college, I don't know, like I've just been acting and I know I've been acting a little different. I feel like we've kind of like grown apart. So what are we doing today? I mean, I'm down to hit the beach again, to be honest. I'm down. That was so cool. We should hit up South Beach. South Beach? Yes, yeah, so fun. I'm, I'm down. I'm yeah. so down, yeah. We haven't really done much yet, so I think we should go out. Have fun. Yes. yes. I'm down to have fun. Yeah, you guys show us around. Oh, we got we you guys. We got you guys. Let's Don't go. worry, we're gonna have a good time, all right? All right, I like that. What does the green ribbon mean? Wanted me to remind me of like the strength I had to overcome what I went through in law school. Yeah, that tattoo has a cool meaning. I like it. Yo, guys, I'm in Miami with these guys, hey. and also with this queen. Hey guys, how are you? Uh, hey, what's yeah. up? Gosh, how was your run? It was good. Oh, you guys are back. Yeah, what's up? Don't make it any more awkward. Uh, 
Are we waiting for Shani? Yeah, of course. No. Well, I mean, I think we should wait for her. Like, this is a girl's trip. We all came together. We should shut up. <laughs> all right, well, I'm gonna go get ready. And I'll see you guys when I come back. Okay. Alrighty. You know, with this trip, I really wanted to reconnect with the girls and like bond with them. But I feel like it's been the opposite completely. We have grown much, much more apart and to the point where we're literally not even talking to each other and they're going off by themselves and not taking me. Oh my God, maybe this friendship that we've had, that we've built for so many years might be coming to an end. And it makes me so sad and hurt because we were getting along so well. We were all finally connecting and maybe we were just lucky to have it. If I lose what I have with the girls, it would hurt me probably more than like a breakup with a boy because these girls are like my sisters. Like we've been through so much together and they're literally always there for me. I message them and they instantly all write back. So if I lose them, that's like it basically. What's good, Chief? Hello. Really? <laughs> what time is it? Well past noon, bro. God damn. Yeah, I'm posting this, yeah. Whoa. Where's everybody? I don't know. I haven't seen them in a, in a minute. They like left me, but I mean. But why do you care? I thought you said we're on our own. Yeah, but <clears throat> I had to check, right? Cause my dad texted me earlier. Make sure you no know one's doing nothing stupid. Well, come on, you need to get up. No. I'm not gonna let you. I'm not gonna no. let you. I'm not gonna let you waste the whole day in bed, and I'm not gonna be chilling by myself either. So you need to get up, or I'm gonna get you up. So what's the tea? Come on. All right, all right. I'll meet you outside though. I need a change or something. Sounds like a plan. What's up, fool? I mean... Oh, my God. <laughs> so, how was your first semester at... FIDM? F-I-D-N? M. Well, uh, it was good. It was good. Um, it was hard. I had six classes. That's so. it? That's a lot. Everyone takes like four, and nobody told me that I was only supposed to take four, so I took six. So. I try hard. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. But it was it was cool. I mean, I passed like, classes, sort of, so yeah. Define sort of. Failed one. But that's because I went to Guatemala. That's because I went to Guatemala. If I didn't go to Guatemala, I'd be fine. Well, speaking of Guatemala, so what happened there? Like, I saw your, your vlog thing on YouTube, and I was like, wonder if it actually happened. You watch my videos? What? Oh my God. What? Wow. Splashing. <laughs> nah, um, 
Yeah, bro, we almost died, like for real. It was, it was crazy. So, how's Raquel? Um, she's good. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah, I don't really, <clears throat> I didn't talk to her all that much, mm. sort of. Okay, that's cool. It's just, like, we're not really um, together right now. Per se, yeah. So, I mean, it sucks, like it hurts, but. How does she feel about you being here? She's not happy about it that much, but. She, she understands, like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to be there, like, for your sister and stuff. Like yeah, so, and like, being the older brother, so she understands I have that responsibility. I don't know, things happen, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. Like one day it's really good, and the next day it can be like really bad. Just different things, you know? That's kind of like why I got this tattooed to a sense also. Because like, you just have to, like for me, I think it's better to just be like a cold-blooded person. To have like no emotion, no sympathy, no empathy. Always be like ready to attack whenever I need to. People have their own time clock. People are on their own time, regardless. Love sucks, bro. Like, I freaking hate it, like, for real. It's a waste of time and energy. <sighs> yeah, I mean, love is painful, but it helps you grow. You know, Xavier, you made me feel not good enough, to be honest. You made me feel bad about myself, and it took forever to get over you. Maybe it's like too late to apologize. If I could, I would. Well, it's time for that pain to go. We need to talk. Lead the way. 